many, many more levels of meaning on it that have to do with the um, movement away from sexually repressive norms towards sexually more open norms and values, uh, which was not so apparent in the um, simply um, foolish behavior in order to look on you looking back to the rites of spring uh, in Greek uh, cultures involving uh, uh, things that were connected to fertility, the idea that the sun comes back and maybe the world will actually become fertile and green again, and if uh, the humans can engage in all kinds of things related to fertility, that'll fit right in with the fertility of nature, if, if they thought of themselves as all one part of it. But uh, there's another level to look at these things that's not just at a... At a um, ancient historical level or even a recent historical level to going back to the 20s or 30s, but more important uh, that what's happening right now with this particular generation is a rapid change in uh, norms and values about sexuality and about the human body. And they're getting free of the times uh, not long past uh, and still with many of us uh, that look upon the body as being uh, um, sinful and shameful and only to be exposed under very, very limited uh, circumstances uh, and for as brief a possible time in the act of procreation. But now that the idea that sex can be um, not only procreational and even not only relational between people, but it can be recreational, uh, you get a phenomenon like streaking in which uh, uh, a form of um, semi-sexual behavior, that is nudity, uh, and at the same time public display that can serve uh, purposes of the young who enjoy shocking their elders and uh, controllers. Uh, that can serve both, and at the same time it sets up a context in which there's a lot of uh, encouragement to college women to engage in the same kind of thing, and under the pressure that uh, uh, if they're claim that they're such liberated ladies in the uh, liberated women in the women's lib sense, uh, it's very hard for them to say, uh, but I'm of course not uh, desirous of doing the same thing that you men are, because the idea of equality is much more established, rather than the concept that women are always supposed to be modest and men are supposed to be uh, kind of gross. Because he had read that Ross had, had the first public streak in the uh, Houston area, he sent a letter to us, which he also sent a copy to his dean of students, who asked that the streak not be held at the U of H campus. So, because Ross is a private campus, if indeed there ever is one, it will probably be held on the Ross campus. I think it's the duty of every Ross student to see that Ross University sets a new national record for a percentage attendance at one streak, and I urge everybody to do so. Members of the Student Association Senator heartily endorse the idea of having a streak off with the University of Houston. And we're ready to take the challenge any time they want to set it up. We don't think we're going to have it for a while, but sometime later this semester, if the interest is still there, and I think it is, then we'll have a streak off any time the University of Houston wants it. Also, we'd like to see any other universities and colleges in the Houston area join in. The more the merrier.